Well, I'm here at Wolf College, just one of the accommodations here at the University of Kent. This accommodation has postgrads and first year students living in it, so it's a bit of a mix, but first years and postgrads do live um, on their own and not mixed um, together. Now, I'm joined by Arshu, who actually lives here. So, what do you think about this accommodation? Do you like living here? Yeah, well, absolutely. I love living here because it's really close to the main campus. It's really close to the library. And when you look at the accommodation, it's very well made. Everything is within a good reach and it's really, really comfortable. And at the end of the day, as a postgrad, I really want to study well. So this is also one of the quieter accommodations. So it's really comfortable and everything is great value here. And you have all the amenities um, you need here as well. Yeah, we have everything. We have great Wi-Fi, the laundry is 24 bar 7. We have a lovely common room and flatmates are great as well. So it's overall a really, really nice place to stay. And I know you're a post-grad um, student, so you want to study. But I guess there's a social side to living here as well. Absolutely. I mean, I, when I say this is one of the quieter accommodations, I'm not saying it's dead. But then we do have a lot of things going on in the common room all the time. Plus, our residential life assistants keep putting on a lot of events, almost three events every month. So there's a lot happening even within the accommodation as well. Well, should we go and take a look at one of the rooms? Let's just come through down here. Um, and all the rooms um, are uh, similar, um, but there is two different types, isn't there? Oh, well, most of the rooms are similar. The, what we see here is the uh, standard ensuite. We have the same setting in a larger site, and we call that the large ensuite. It's just a couple of more squares bigger. Yeah. I mean, so you've got the bed here, you've got the desk, uh, and there's also um, an ensuite in here which we can have a quick open up and have a look at. So you've got a shower and a toilet, everything um, you could want. Um, and do you think it's good value living in this accommodation? Absolutely. I think it's very, very economical and super bang for the buck, only because it's really close to the uni. There's a lot of opportunities in the uni as well. And the place is really comfortable and silent, right? So it, it really makes a lot of sense. You're saving time on travel, you're saving money on travel and a lot of food options as well. So I, I, I really think I love living here. Well, when I was, I was saying this earlier um, to Rodri, when, when I first came to university, the thing I was really looking forward to was coming into my room. This was my first room, independence um, and decorating it. I, re I was really looking forward to decorating uh, my room. Every, I remember everybody's room at uni had that you could tell their personality. It was all um, right. different. About, that was one of my favourite things. But the other thing, I was looking forward to finding out is how comfortable the beds are. Do you think the beds are comfy? Here? <laughs> <laughs> but I'll be honest, the beds are comfortable. We do get a good night's sleep. But if you have any preference in terms of changing the mattress to a softer one or a harder one, you can make that request and during your application and they can do that. And the best part about this bed is everything below the bed is storage. So that's the best part. Otherwise, the students really try hard for storage, right? Yep. Brilliant. Should we have a quick look at the kitchen lastly? Um, so we're here in the kitchen now. How many people share this kitchen? This kitchen is usually shared by six to eight people, nothing more or nothing less. And depending on which block in Wolf you get assigned to. This particular kitchen, what we see here is for eight people. And we have quite a few fridges, quite a few freezers, which the entire accommodation shares. We have eight hobs and the maintenance team is always available to fix anything that goes wrong or gets spoiled. Um, and it's a lovely looking kitchen. It's modern and what I can see is plenty of fridges and freezers and that's so important um, to have that space for your own things. And there's also plenty um, of um, cupboards um, as well. And you know, I mean, I guess, I guess if you want to, you could uh, all take part sharing the cooking or you could cook yourself. I know I had friends at university who were really organized and you know, I mean, they all cooked a, like a massive family meal on a Sunday, but other people, you know, I mean, they just cook their own um, sort of um, things. I'm gonna ask you, what's your, what's your favorite meal to cook here? Well, honestly, I, I don't really cook much. <laughs> most, of my, most of my food is just maybe fresh salads and fruits. And the max I can cook is some rice and some curry. So that's where I'm at. But I do have a couple of flatmates who cook really well, be it lasagna and all of the, everything like that. The ovens, amazing. Brilliant, thank you so much. So this is um, the Wolf College um, accommodation, just one of the accommodations here at the University of Kent.